Whoop. And I'm starting a different drone. The Mercury invites you to tonight's show. Seven here in the theater. There's two of diamonds. You know, it's days like this, I wish I were less competent. Then maybe I wouldn't get the tricky jobs. The sexy brutali. The clock in your pocket watch thick in perfect harmony. The sound is soothing. Okay, before I continue. Okay, so it's just a name. There's no information about them. It's engraved with the letters LB. Huh. You would think it'd be engraved with the letters of RS. Because it's Reginald's pocket watch, but for some reason it's with us. So we have one, two, three, four, five other masks to collect. One, two, three, four, five. Then we're serious sixth person. So maybe a sixth mask in the middle. Interesting. I, I really thought that plan B was going to happen and I have to stop it somehow, but. Who oh, no, knows? Maybe it'll come into play later. Oh no! Oh, it is a mansion. I wasn't even looking at the whole thing. Don't believe it. It's bigger inside than out. Yes. Jeez. Okay. So we know he goes there. Yeah, and I'm I'm literally too far away for me to save him. Oh, a game. Clubs. Poker. Trying to get diamond here. Diamond. Will we become spade after this? Hearts. Huh. Okay. I guess I'll keep an eye out for roulette um, statues and start the hearts. Okay, I can look through that keyhole at least. Hmm. Ah, the nine of clubs. What does that mean? Especially next time at night. It ain't right. Well, best get to the practice room. Oh. Well, best get to the practice room. Same glass window filters light through from the outside. Very well lit room. So are they the person I'm supposed to save? The bar. What's your poison? Oh, I can hide here. Uh-oh. The candle is curiously cold. Must go for tiny time, but it isn't particularly useful here. There's no in the sandless tank. The glass tank under the bar is filled with creepy crawlies of all shapes and sizes. It's an old fashioned vinyl record player. The sepia vinyl record. The record sent the world and begins to play. Whoa! Another gunshot? Oh no, it's the same gunshot. But also every poison in the sun. Some alcohol here too. <laughs> Funny. Ooh, the jack of spades. The bar. The what's your poison bar is one of the great draws of sexy brutality. Every cocktail here is spiked with a touch of exotic venom from one of the highly dangerous creatures kept within the mansion. 
It is these venoms that give the drinks served here a kick and flavor that most will never experience anywhere else. This practice is both highly dangerous and extremely illegal, which only adds to the appeal and palate of the drinks. It is said that the most delicious and dangerous venom is harvested from an enormous spider lurking deep in the mansion. Alright, we got a spider to look forward to. The enormous snake that winds around the room must be artificial, but the skin is terrifyingly lifelike. Oh, at the exact same time, something shattered. Ah, here's Casino. Hello. Boone. Oh, thank God. I wasn't sure. I didn't know if you would be able to leave the chapel. But you can. We have a chance. This is the casino. The front and center of the sexy brutality. The guests here are Trinity and Clay. They are more, but you cannot reach them yet. You have time to watch and learn. You must save them both, together. You save Reginald, and his mask giving you the power over his clocks. They have all stopped, but if you can wind them, they will be very useful to you. I found the key for this area. That is all I can do for now. Stop the clocks in the mansion, each needs a specific key to be wound up. Use the matching key and the clock to wind up the clock. Winding a clock reveals the map for that area, and allows you to make that clock your starting point each day. Use the winding key. I will find you when I can, Boon. Save Clay. Save Trinity. Wait, save the cheerleader. cheerleader. Save, save the, world. the world. And I think there's a camera. Whoop! Clay Rockbridge, the boot in a suit. Trinity Carrington, the moth by moonlight. I guess the information was kind of like beamed into my head. The plan control is CCTV camera 1, but you don't know the key code. Let out the chair is so soft, it's like gently warm butter. So I guess I'll learn the key code later. An ornate grandfather clock it needs to be wound. Let's burn this key here. Is this music? This is singing music. The plant gives off a rich, calming scent. There is no fakery here. Ooh, a real plant. These guys must be rich. The leather of the chairs is so soft as like gently warm butter. Oh, there's a lot of casino. Goodness gracious, look at that map. I mean, it's not... I have to say, it, it is it is manageable. There's only like a few rooms per section. And I, I think that like they, they've, they've done a good job of like self-containing these puzzles. So, I'm, I guess I'm on chapter 1 officially or chapter 2. Depending on how what what you count Reginald's life being saved as. I do I have to find my way back to the chapel later. Somehow. Hmm. Oh well, let's keep exploring rooms for now. Okay, there was someone there. Here? Oh, it's time to check it all in, sir. Oof, not sure which is worse, the puns or the shots. Down the hatch. Here's turning all around. Is that death? Clubs? There is a sense of grace in the sculpture is deeply appealing. It is marked with a moth symbol. Is he dead? Ready when you are. You all move. Danger lurks.
Are you drunk? I already passed. Okay, come on, let's do this. That's not being shown to me, because you know screen. Welcome video is not being shown to me, because you know screen. Let's do this, Mr. Robot. Oh! He thinks it's an animatronic. Camera thief? What's that there? The cameras keep watch, sir. One in rear looks into the company call. The large screen showing footage from the security CCTV feed. Man, I hope Trinity's okay. She does love to wander. Small seating area looks like the casino. I want a mirror. The key code for CCTV panels. Yes! Okay. Trinity, should I be worried? Where are you? Say, so, where's that camera three? Okay, I know where camera one is. That's for the casino. That's where I start in the casino. That's another hand. I just want to see how, how it happens. I'm pretty sure he's gonna drink poison. Man, I gotta, I gotta just win this. Thank God for Trinity. Please, no more. Your luck is running out. Please, no more. Man, that's that's kind of creepy. Interesting. Play. Help her. Whoa, man. Freaky. Okay, okay, I'm nearly... I'm nearly done. Come on. Okay, I think it's the robot talking with the first one. And then Clay here is... They're both great though, because I can't hear them directly. Scary, now I'm nearly done. Okay, let's play. Clay, she needs you. You have to see. You need to see. Ah, oh, you are the worst, the worst dealing robot ever. <laughs> I'm retired. Really tired. I need to finish. Finish and find Trinity. Very well, Clay. You made your choice. You win. He won? I win! I win! I won! I won win! Ha! Ah, celebration shot! Oh. You win. A well-deserved victory, sir. Well, you know what happens. Ooh, a chest. Bless you, you go bow. Not open up the casino, sir. You Good night, ladies and gentlemen. Until tomorrow. Hachi wears a mask. The DA is going to visit. A tiny moth is carved on the side. There's an invitation in one of Clay's pockets. The table is strange like the barrels of a revolver. Oh, I should have grabbed Reginald's invitation. Could I have? I don't know. Can I still go back and do that? The Mercury invites you to tonight's show, 7 p.m. in the theater. All right. Well, let's check out the brochure because I do have some information now about one of the guests, Clay Rockridge. Clay Rockridge was previously the head of security at the Sexy Brutali, but over the years, became firm friends with the Maquis. Powerful and intimidating, he and his much gentler brother, Head Croupier Red, oversaw many of the most successful and influential evenings at the Sexy Brutali. Clay's background as a prize fighter means he's not the most beautiful of men, but his extraordinary wife still found something deep and good in his voice and actions. Enough, at least, to overcome any exterior roughness. Clay has struggled with drink, but never had any trouble staying sober while on duty. Shifting his addictive nature to focusing on work meant that he was truly an effective partner to the Maquis, but one with a darker side. The Brute in the Suit. I have to save both of them somehow. Hmm. Ah, okay. 
because I have CCTV, I, because I have the CCTV codes, I now have knowledge, and there's pins for what that knowledge pertains to. Good to know. You know, series like this, I wish I were less confident. Then maybe I wouldn't get the tricky jobs. Right? Two diamonds, there he goes. And I can't go there yet. Okay. So this one's fully explored. The grand lobby and the ballroom. Whoop! Sorry, sorry. Didn't mean to interrupt. What? Okay. Okay. I'll be there. But I can help you out and still hope you're wrong. Alright, thank you. We're a safe talk to win the theater. Looks like Mr. Ah, gentlemen, good afternoon. Enjoy your stay. Alright, I'm gonna have to look at this conversation later. I think I step to the door, because they're on the upper landing. I don't need to be here. A stained glass window filters light from the outside. It's sparkling, and I hear glass shattering at 4 p.m., so there must be something about that. Okay, so you're, you're not Trinity. You're someone else. Those gardens. Ellie, you really do know what you're doing. I hope Willow's okay. But all the talk about voodoo this and creepy spirits that. Whispering next to my room at night. It ain't right. Oh, Southern. Well, best get to the practice room. It ain't right. Oh, card. The Four of Diamonds. Doesn't seem that there's anything to read with these cards. But it should be... A bad idea to collect them. At some point though I have to like get all the invitations because I missed one. Did someone spin a lottery? The lie Barbie. A copy of Rorschach debunked. It's just ink. The book is filled with beautiful monochrome paintings of faces, animals, scenery. Okay so the Rorschach test, uh, interestingly enough, it and this is like a spoiler for people who don't don't know about the Rorschach test, I guess, and might want to cheat on it. Um, it doesn't really matter the specifics of of what you say it is. It, it's it's a it's a black and white like 50-50 test. So either you uh, yeah, I should pause the game. So either you um, say that there's like an animal or something like that. On the Rorschach test, or you say that there's um, like viscera, awful, gore. Um, if you say things like it looks like a spine, or there's blood on it, or um, there's a creeping figure with a knife, right? Um, th basically, what doctors do, what psychiatrists do, is that they use the Rorschach test as a kind of like litmus test for how disturbed you are, which. I mean, yeah, um, if you kind of see like floating organs and spines in black and white blobs, m more often than not, uh, more, like majority of the, those black and white um, ink blob tests, there's probably something wrong with your perception, like your cognitive perception of the, of the world. But also, the human brain is so subjective and it could be affected by whatever state of mind you're in. That is kind of like, uh, can you really say that someone's like schizophrenic based on how many how, how many um, dissected body parts they see in a black and white ink drawing, uh, as compared to like fluffy clouds and chameleons and trees? Yeah, so it, it's not really the Rorschach test won't really tell you anything about a person, um, like how you read a tarot. It's more just the do you see body? Do you see um, mutilated corpses, or do you see other things? And those other things is like what ninety percent of what you're going to be like describing. So as long as you don't describe like you know those um, awful, awful um, horror element things in those Rorschach tests, 
And the psychiatrist just kind of like pass on and move on to the next step, line of testing for um, mental testing. Anyway, I, sp I just wasted like an hour on that. <laughs> a recollection of cocktail recipes by L. Bonds. So uncivilized. Yeah, so far I have no idea where anyone else is. Aha! Another roulette. Listen for the heart. The candle is curiously cold. Looks like our main character is a religious person. There's a sign of a cross for running into the closet. Okay, uh, where are we on the map? Okay, we're in the far room. Interestingly, there are a bunch of locks. Inside the cabinet is a single piece of parchment. The plaque underneath says it is this one of the lost 116 pages from the original book of Lee. Ooh! The bookshelf is empty. No, wait! Aha! Ten of clubs. The bookshelf is empty. Okay, maybe, maybe I should just like jump into closets in case I find something. Inside the cabinet is a single piece of parchment. The plaque underneath says that this is one of the 12 missing pages from the Codex Gaigas? Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. That's, that's a huge thing. Hello, Palm Place. Welcome to today's stream. We're just playing some uh, sexy brutality. Um, yes, actually. Uh, we are playing a time looping murder mystery game. Uh, so far, I have been able to clear the first chapter and save the life of one Reginald Sixpence. Uh, it seems that every time we hit um, there's a time on the clock, the day resets and I have to save the person again, right? Interestingly though, I can only save one person at a time and the game kind of locks me into wherever I save with the clock. So I can only save um, these two next. Clay Rockridge and Trinity Carrington. And all of this, of course, takes place in, the, in a mansion because what's a murder mystery that a good mansion to play in, right? <laughs> Doors locked tight with a heavy padlock. Could probably be picked open. Okay, gotta keep an eye for a lock pick. Who are you? Okay. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot to keep track of in this game, but I'm like slowly but surely learning all these secrets. It seems like there's gonna be something about these um, these candlesticks as well. So I keep seeing them everywhere. Alright, anything in this closet? Nope. Okay, I've already been here. Uh, let's get the map again. Oh! So this time I get the second floor. Oh, hang on. Is this not a person? Oh, no, it's the roulette wheel that was spin. Yes, it is also a casino gambling theme. The entire mansion seems to be um, for the purpose of that. Wait a second. I think I missed something. Is that anything down there? Oh, no, I can't go in that because the room is locked. Right, 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 right. Okay. Whoa! Okay, okay, okay. This is fine. Oh, really? Are you kidding me? Am I gonna die right here? Oh, that sucks. My guy, find your own room too. Oh, he's the guy playing with the things. Okay. Alright, alright. I think that... I, I keep hearing the roulette spinning whenever I'm next to that room. So this is the guy who's doing it. Whoever this guy is. Okay, I'm out of time. He looks like one of the guests. He doesn't have one of the, the suit cards. So the murderers in this casino are all... Um, are all the numbered cards. And all the victims have their own like unique mass. 
But according to the supernatural entity that's like plaguing us, um, they're not doing it on their own volition. They're they're being controlled by the mask they're wearing. And when I say Reginald's life, for some reason, he completely forgot that he his life was in danger and that he defended himself. So when he saw the passed out uh, murderer, he was just like, ah, sleeping in the job, are we? Okay, so this is how I get up here, right? Ah, uh, no, just the grand lobby. Oh, hang on, could I? Could I go up there? Ah, uh, there is a sneaky secret secret. There's a sneaky secret. I have to get up there somehow, but maybe not yet. There, were, There's no blue flames, though. What's blocking me? The snake! Oh, the giant snake is blocking my path. Oh, that is interesting. Okay. Uh, I got some CCTV camera codes, so... That's not something I can work with. Okay, yeah. The reason that the music is so dramatic there is because someone's about to die. Um, in that room over there. But I'm just currently, like, exploring first to get the lay of the land. The enormous statues appear to have been struck with model bronze and finished in pure gold trim. On side of the foot, foot is a mark. Runes. The sign of the door welcomes guests to the sexy brutality. Welcome to the sexy brutality. Oh, I'm back here. Ah, uh, okay. So, now I know where this leads. <gasps> Another card! Yeah, collectibles. Everything is old and covered in sheets. The room is full of items and memories that someone seems to be trying hard to forget and ignore. Door is locked. Can't open it. I can't peek through that keyhole either. Good night, ladies and gentlemen. Until tomorrow. Ah, but tomorrow never comes. The leather of the chair is so soft, it's like gently warm butter. Is it raining blood? It is, it's raining blood. Cool. <laughs> okay. I see how it is. Alright, I think I've explored pretty much every room. I just need to know like where people are. No, no, there's still more rooms to explore. They're speaking in code. The stuff, Ma, are you sure? Shh, keep your voice down. Okay, okay, I'll be there. But I can help you out and still hope you're wrong. Alright, thank you. I think Miss Bell was friendly the pianist. Ah, oh, gentlemen, good afternoon. Enjoy your stay. Okay. So I already know there's no point for me to go in there because they're literally going to be uh, moving out and not saying anything. Okay, so let's go to this door. Turn off the camera because you might as well. I have to find camera three. Okay. Uh, and then I go down. So that's the room I haven't explored yet. So we already know how Clay dies. Clay dies by waiting until 11 p.m. and gambling until, uh, gambling with a literal like uh, Russian roulette, but instead of using like a gun, he's using several drinks, and when he drinks the red drink, that's when he dies. The bar is stocked with liquors and drinks of every conceivable taste, and each one seems to be the most expensive kind possible. 
The chips have the nuanced texture of ivory. On the back there's a tiny engraving of what seems to be a fully mammoth. Surely not. The Eight of Clubs. There's a vent in the wall. Sounds like it extends deep into the mansion. Gregory, I know that it's kind of sus, but you have to vent, Gregory. <laughs> you have to vent. Have you ever heard of Among Us, Gregory? Alright, let's actually like move on with the game here. Uh, what else? Ooh, a secret rune. Secret secrets. Whoops! Sorry! Wrong room! Nice game watch this from beginning to end. You are bust. Will you cut your losses or shuffle back for the round? Bloody hell, Reggie! That's a pass with zippy banter in your mind! Okay, so apparently he thinks Reginald Sixpence programmed this thing as a robot animatronic. Okay, I'm gonna be back for that. I don't think there's really much I can learn from uh, looking at looking at the um, clay gamble his life away, literally gamble his life away. Oh, and that's Reginald getting killed by a shotgun. The shelves are filled with gambling tips and techniques. Safe code. Door is complex security panel. You will not open without correct security code. Okay, hang on. Was that Trinity? Hmm. The relic weeds are impe impeccably balanced. There's hardly fiction at all. They are handcrafted masterpieces. Okay, this place for a very close view. Uh, the tale appears to be laid out like a revolver chamber. Perhaps for drinking games? Tico is wrecked. CCD camera 2, which is off. Okay, alright. Uh, let's move up. Water trickles across the rocks. The sound is very peaceful. Tank, another locked door. Okay, turn this camera on. Hey, code is correct. DC camera 3 isn't in this room, but it will be turned on now. The drinks the table as they've only le been left here only moments ago. Okay. Oh! So no matter what, I can't get into that room because I don't know the key code. Okay. So literally there's something else I can... How did I miss that exactly? Did I miss that or... Did it only drop from one of the NPCs passing through? Ladies and gentlemen, the show will start in one hour! Alright, I haven't really found the theater yet, so... I don't really know where the show starts, per se. Okay, that room is locked. Okay, time for another hand. Apparently it's not being shown on the main casino screen. Okay. Hey, the screen, that looks like... Trinity? <gasps> Trin Trinity! What the hell, Trinity? I'm oh, sorry. What the hell, Trinity? Where is she? Trinity, I'm coming! A terrible run of luck, sir. I should give that Amphonic a deeper voice. A terrible run of luck, sir. Oh. Oh god, easy now. Oh, I've got you. Clay. Clay, thank god. Uh, let's get you up. Are there two dead bodies? Did I save them already? 
Oh, Clay, I have to get this mask off. I don't know how this happened. I'm so confused. I don't know what happened. What a fright. Boom? What are you doing here? Man, what a nightmare. Was it you turn on the cameras? If you hadn't, I don't know what. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Let's get out of here, Shrin. Bet you could use a drink after that. Uh, bet you could use a drink after that? Man, I could use a drink. You know me so well. Round of blackjack. Loser does shots. <laughs> Sounds like a plan with no possible downside. After you! Okay, I probably should have like paid more attention to where Trinity was. I have no idea where that room is. But I guess I solved it. <laughs> you found a way to protect them, Boone. Clay is an unstoppable force once roused. He and his brother both. But it's Trinity who is special. Take her mask. It's her gift. To you. Okay. Trinity's mask allows you to hear even the smallest sounds. While spying or hiding, listen to whispered conversations or other quiet noises by using the power when the prompt appears. Additionally, you will now be able to hear more when you listen out to your surroundings. Trinity's perfect hearing. Trinity has exceptional hearing. Her blessing is now yours. With that mask, you'll be able to find the way through to the guest rooms. There's a girl there who is fighting so hard against the darkness in this place. She needs your help, Boone. Alright. See you in Inky Abyss, I guess. Hmm. Am I gonna start in a different room again? No! Same room. Right, get up, get up. The Marquis invited to tonight's show. Sound favorite the theater. I mean, I hear you, but why would Lucas want to hurt his own guests, man? Not Lucas. It's the staff. There is something wrong. The staff? Uh, man, are you sure? Shh, keep your voice down. Like you said, we should, Dr. Lucas. But where is he? Uh, I don't know, maybe planning a big entrance? I mean, it's his big party, right? Please, just do as I ask. Uh, okay, okay, I'll be there. Or I can help you out and I still don't hope you're wrong. Alright, thank you. Okay. Alright. So I guess I've saved them? Or will it undo it if I don't like do it constantly? Keeping the mansion and its guests safe and secure is an enormous task, and one which the Marquis and his security team took very seriously indeed. The previous head of security, Clay Rockridge, would often confirm suspected cheating from this room here, but take no immediate action. It would only be later on, in the grounds of the mansion for Dark, that the perpetrators would find themselves with their heads held underwater in the beautiful garden fountain. But only until they saw the air of their ways, of course. And this game earns the title of Brutali. <laughs> I guess I should have realized that this was a horror game. Murder mystery sent to be. But it's more creepy than it is, like, scary. Alright, so I got a bunch of stuff. I could watch Clay's like gambling all the way through. I'm pretty sure the CCTVs are now back on again. Hello? Ah, there's Trinity. Alright. So where does Trinity go exactly? 
I'm so sorry, but no entry, please. This room is off limits. Off limits? Since when are rooms off limits? It's uh, a surprise, ma'am. Ah, not what I've said. Dash it all. A surprise? Oh, don't worry. I wonder when you're ruin any surprises. I'm more sincere, ma'am. I can you hear the inverted commas you talk. Whoops, sorry. Just gonna make you pass on through. All the years I've been coming here, no one has ever had me lock out of your rooms here. Oh, yes, there we go. Ooh! They tapped the key code. So I could probably listen to it too. Lucas really should have gone crazy into the security for these doors. Okay. That is interesting. Probably because. Five five six four. You overheard the code for the security, security doors. What? <clears throat> what was that noise? Five five six four. Ah, that was special getting shot. Okay. And glass shattering. go. Three of clubs. A sail? A building? A traveler? It's impossible to tell. The painting is a maelstrom of chaos and darkness. It is not welcoming. Forest seen blurred and strange. For a skyline? Ooh! Trapdoor place. Okay, is that a music box? Array of old habits. Check my inventory for details. Ah, there's three casino security codes I can use. Okay. Hmm. What does I want to save her again? I should probably get the invitation to learn more. And at some point I have to find my way back to the chapel. Oh no, it's the second floor. Oh boy, there's like a whole other thing. Alright, there's like more mansion to explore. Ten of diamonds. Alright, here we go. Uh, man, I, I miss being able to like see everything that needs to be seen. Cabin is empty. The room gives you a strange feeling of deja vu. Or has that not happened yet? Yeah, it is my first time here. What are you talking about, game? How would I resist? Why would anyone? Ladies and gentlemen, the show was hard one hour. Okay. So I'm gonna continue the game here, but I do need a quick break. Because it is midnight and it's time for lunch. So we're gonna take a break here, but uh, I'll be back and, and uh, we'll solve this murder mystery yet. <laughs> if I can figure out where everything is. Goodness, this map is huge. I'm sure it'll make more sense to me once I've like gone through the story a bit more. I just want to see a bigger picture, you know? Like know where everyone is in the entire timeline without having changed anything, right? This game doesn't seem too terribly long. Um, but then I've only explored three three different floors and there's there still is a lot more that could be out there. And I still have to figure out how to get to the chapel. It seems to be in the basement. Okay. So we will be right back. Um, in the meantime, just, you know, hydrate yourself. Stretch your own legs. I'm going to be doing the same and uh, getting some food in me. We'll be right back. You can ring my bell. Ring my bell. 